It's a must for a K-pop idol to have a perfect face, but those stunning visuals are not always natural. Some of these idols have been forced or strongly advised to undergo plastic surgery. Rain. To see Rain on this list might be a surprise since the idol is known for his mature and handsome visuals, but it wasn't always like that. On an episode of Season B season that aired in March of 2022, Rain shared that he was actually once advised to get a plastic surgery because of his not-so-typical looks, specifically to get a double eyelid surgery. In the friend who advised him to get the procedure was none other than Park Jin Yong. Although now everyone is head over heels over Rain's visuals, people didn't used to speak so kindly about his appearance when he was a child. Rain admitted, when I was young, everyone said I was ugly. Hearing those words at such a young age, it understandably affected Rain's confidence, and he almost went through with the plastic surgery when he was still under JYP Entertainment. Rain then added that Park Jin Yong told him to get some procedures done to change his visuals. It turns out that Park Jin Yong is exactly exactly the reason why Rain decided not to get anything done. Rain explained that since Park Jin Young didn't look traditionally good looking either, he decided to just embrace his natural face. Rain finished by saying that if Park Jin Young could succeed while not fitting into the typical beauty standards, then plastic surgery wasn't necessary at all. CL. If there's one signature feature about CL's appearance, then it would be her prominent monolids, which she has grown to love over the years. Unfortunately, it used to be way different many years ago, and CL was actually shamed numerous numerous times for not having double eyelids. Through an interview with Allure in 2021, CL opened up about what she thought about the prominent beauty standards in the music industry and how she became confident despite people telling her otherwise. Other than that, CL mentioned that she was often pressured to proceed with a double eyelid surgery during the beginning of her career. CL said, I even want to say I was sad and angry. I was like, why are all these people telling me how I should look? CL also mentioned that at the time, she was almost forced to get the double eyelid surgery since it was a huge trend to get double eyelids. Instead of listening to what other people said, CL decided to focus more on makeup application and camera angles. CL wrapped it up by saying, if you want to go work out or put a bunch of makeup on, it's up to you, and I make sure I constantly remind myself of that. Kara's Cutie. Cutie is a good example that companies are willing to do anything to achieve the perfect looks for their idols. In 2012, Cutie appeared on the talk show Do Dream, where she shared that she actually rejected a plastic surgery offer when she was still a trainee. Beauty explained, if you have plastic surgery, you can become cute and adorable. However, I wanted to be loved exactly the way I am. Beauty then shared that before she debuted, she was offered a plastic surgery from an agency. Next to the contract, there was a paper with the estimated cost of the procedure. Beauty was then told that she won't be able to debut unless she got some procedures done in certain places. Beauty also mentioned that when she was being offered this, her parents were right next to her and it made her really sad to hear all of that with her parents in the room. In the end, Beauty decided to go against the plastic surgery, proving that all she needed to debut was her natural beauty. Ashley Tue and B2B's Peniel Although neither Ashley or Peniel managed to go through with the plastic surgeries, it's safe to say that they were strongly advised to. During one of the episodes of their podcast, Get Real, they opened up about the heavy pressure idol trainees face to go and get their facial features enhanced or fixed. Ashley began by saying that she used to not feel confident in her appearance because of how often she was told that there was something wrong with her. She said she didn't know how many flaws she supposedly had until she came to Korea. Ashley then recalled her time as a trainee before she debuted as a member of Ladies Code. She said that her agency would point out all the features they wanted her to change through plastic surgery all the time and that it's basically a daily task during the trainee period. Once Ashley mentioned that her agency wanted her to get her jaw shaved off, Peniel admitted that he faced the same pressure from his own company. Since it's more common for Koreans to have V-shaped faces and jaws, Peniel's company wanted him to shave it down to fit within the beauty standard. Standards. His agency even went as far as shaming Peniel for his square jaw and comparing him to the Toy Story character Buzz Lightyear, who's known for his exaggeratedly huge jaw. Ashley then added that her company wanted her to fix her smile since her gums show a lot when she smiles and her agency thought that it was unattractive. It's unreal how much pressure trainees have to go through and none of us can really imagine what it must be like. Lovelies K. In March of 2020, former member of group Lovelies K appeared in one of the episodes of the show Sugar Man 3 and as soon as netizens laid their eyes on her, they were shocked by her sudden new appearance. Kay's nose in particular became a hot topic all over social media platforms. Some viewers claimed that Kay now had a slimmer nose and that she had to go through a plastic surgery to achieve it and it was no longer the work of makeup. Unfortunately, not a lot of people liked Kay's alleged nose job. They argued that the procedure was unsuccessful because of its asymmetrical shape and that since Kay is a celebrity, they should have done better. Then there were others who claimed that this wasn't Kay's decision 
information, but her agencies instead. One netizen said, I think that this couldn't be helped since it was already scheduled, but it's true that her company ruined her. A lot of people believe that Kay's agency forced her to get a nose job, even though there was nothing wrong with her natural nose. Jessie. Throughout the years, Jessie has proudly owned up to all the cosmetic procedures she's done. That doesn't mean that she didn't regret them at one point. Previously, Jessie stated that she had gotten plastic surgery on her eyes and nose, but that she honestly regrets it. Jessie said, My agency suggested that I get plastic surgery. I wasn't too photogenic, so the agency said I would look less fierce if I got my eyes done. Unfortunately, after Jessie went through a double eyelid surgery, her eyes looked even more fierce than before. Jessie commented that because of that, people are scared to approach her. After some old Jessie pictures resurfaced and netizens could see Jessie's features before surgeries, some claimed that she actually looked prettier with all of her natural features. Jessie also shared that now that she has had some work done, she believes plastic surgeries aren't necessary. Her mind changed after she had some face fillers done in the past, but it looks so unnatural on the screen, Jessie decided to never do it again. In one of the episodes of Radio Star, Jessie spoke up about her plastic surgeries and admitted that she thought she looked like a monster after the procedures. Jessie said, After the surgery, my face broke my heart. I instantly asked the surgeon to get rid of the stitches. As long as Jessie is happy with her appearance, that's all that matters. Sista Soyu. In 2017, Soyu appeared on Radio Star where she confessed something that surprised everyone. Soyu revealed that she actually got some enhancements done on her nose, but the reason why she got it done is more than heartbreaking. Soyu shared that over the years, she was dealing with hateful comments online, and at one point, it just got too much. Soyu then went to a plastic surgeon to talk about her procedure, since the mean comments she read online were taking a toll on her mental health. Once she received the surgery on her nose, she was only then able to overcome the mean and horrible things people were saying about her. Brown-eyed girls. Brown-eyed girls have always been pretty open about the plastic surgeries they've gotten, since almost, if not all of their members, have gotten some work done. When brown-eyed girls just debuted, they didn't receive a lot of compliments. When one of the members, not Marsha appeared on the show Radio Star in 2012, she was even told she became prettier since Brown Eyed Girls debuted. She was told, Brown Eyed Girls weren't so attractive at the time of their debut. I didn't think they would last very long. Narsha then confirmed that the members had a few procedures done to boost up their confidence and enhance their visuals. She said, We often get hurt because of our appearance, and as a result, we tend to pay more attention to the way we look. I don't think plastic surgery is a bad thing. Then, in 2015, Gain appeared on a broadcast show where she stated that the girls might have become a little obsessed with plastic surgeries. It turned out that their agency actually put a ban on the group and prohibited them from getting more plastic surgeries. Gain said, We won't fix with plastic surgery anymore and we'll prepare for our album healthily by taking care of our health. It's not every day that you hear an agency banning a surgery, especially in K-pop. That's it for today. What's your opinion on plastic surgeries? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye.